<laughs> hey guys, it's Christina, and I'm so excited because I am here with Matthew Morrison. How I'm, are you? I'm not unwell, Christina. <laughs> That's How are good. you? I'm doing very good. good. You look so nice today. Thanks. I dressed up for you. Thank you. you I look appreciate so nice. it. Thank you. I dressed up for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you are here to talk about a really important cause. So talking all about Mother Nature. Exactly. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we we um, I am partnering up. Not really partnering up. I'm just uh, a friend of mine runs this this bidet company called mm -hmm. Tushy. And uh, they're just really changing the world. Um, you know, it's such a, a taboo kind of topic over here in the mm -hmm. States. I, I spent a lot of time in Japan and Europe and, and you know, there's bidets everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just, and I don't know why in our society it's, it's kind of taboo and, and just people just don't talk about it. And we're, we're you know, forced to, to wipe our butts with, okay. with, with dry sheets mm -hmm. of paper. And you're basically not even doing anything except smearing it around. So, <laughs> um, I just want to try to change the culture, and because I, I, what it comes down to is, 15 million trees um, we are cutting down for mm -hmm. toilet paper alone. That's crazy. And um, and just I, I think that can dramatically change mm -hmm. and shift with the simple installation of a bidet. Yeah. And, uh, um, Tushy, they're doing this, this, these great bidets. They're so stylish and cool. They take 10 minutes to put mm -hmm. on, um, on your toilet. You can do it yourself. Oh. I did it myself. Uh, my wife did uh, another one. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's just really easy. Um, and they're just great products, and they're 69 bucks. That's it? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I think the average family spends like $500 a year in, in, a year mm -hmm. in toilet paper. Yeah. So it's just uh, you, you, you will save a lot of money doing it. Sure. And just get you know, it, it's when you think about it, really, just the the thought of it's like going and stepping into a, a shower mm -hmm. and not turning on the water, yeah, and just washing yourself with a with a dry towel or or, or paper cloth or something, and calling it a, and saying, and, yeah. walking out and being like, all right, I'm good. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, you yeah. know, like right. who does totally. that? And it's like the dirtiest part of our body, and we're just kind of doing that. That is very true. So <laughs> it's just I think people's mentality needs to change around it because. Obviously, I think it will help uh, stay away from a lot of infections mm -hmm. and, and diseases and stuff that happen. But also, at the end of the day, what it's about is is saving our planet. Totally. And I think this is a huge way we can contribute to that. Yeah, as Cheryl says, superb idea. Superb idea. Superb idea. But yeah, so, so why I'm here is we're, we are, um, we're, we're hosting a funeral right. for a tree. Mm -hmm. Which has never been done before. No, <laughs> um, it's, it's the first. It's going to be uh, at Judson Church um, on April twenty fifth, mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be at Washington Wa Judson Church is Washington, Washington Square Park South, and it's just really going to be a cool event. Yeah, and I'm going to be officiating. Um, I like that. My my wife, I'm sorry, my <laughs> wife uh, is actually going to be playing the wife of the tree, whose name <laughs> is Willow Baum, um, and it's going to be, uh, we're going to have just ch ch chess, what, what is his name, uh, this, the, the great Native American activist, ch mm -hmm. chess, ch ch chess Scott okay. uh, Martinez, is, is just, he's, you know, has done all these talks in front of the UN and stuff, and mm -hmm. he's gonna be speaking, and um, I might do a little song nice. or something. So, right, there's like choirs and everything. Choirs, gonna, yeah. it's mm -hmm. gonna be a full on funeral. Right. And it's, it's, it's gonna be a beautiful event. And people can get tickets for this as well, right? Yeah, you can go online, uh, to, it's hellotushy.com backs, sorry. <laughs> it's hellotushy.com slash funeral. I get confused it's with the black the slash, slash or slash. slash. I don't even know which slash. <laughs> right. One of the slashes, try it, and it should work. <laughs> yes. Um, and, yeah, you can get tickets for the event, and it's uh, all the proceeds are, are going to environmental causes to help mm -hmm. save trees. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be... Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But is there any other little things that you do to kind of help save the environment besides the bidet? Do you like not use paper bags and things like that, plastic bags? You know, I, I walked in here with a water bottle. Right. I, mm -hmm. I try not to, to use plastic bottles. Um, I do a lot of things. I actually, you know, I started my own company uh, on the on the, the heels of having a child. Mm -hmm. I realized there was nothing out there for for men in terms of like the baby market. It's all yeah. geared towards women, so which is amazing. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you know, papas need some right. love too. So <laughs> I created this company called Sure Papa. Mm -hmm. And basically our diaper bag is kind of, we call it like the bag for all seasons of seasons of fatherhood. And um, cause the baby market is so disposable. Mm -hmm. Everything you buy for the baby yep. is like garage sale fodder in mm -hmm. a year. 
So we wanted to make products that you can actually use over and over. So our diaper bag is based on like a bag from the, a mechanics bag from the 1950s that That's you can so use cool. for the diaper bag, for a bag to carry all their crayons and, and school supplies, to the bag that you carry the tools to fix your daughter's first apartment. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I so, gotta check that out. I gotta yeah. check that out for my husband. Exactly, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> um, so just my mind has always kind of, kind of been wrapped around you know, doing stuff for the environment. Mm -hmm. And when uh, my friend Mickey created this company, t company Tushy, it, it just, it's one of those, those moments, I think for Americans, that I think we need to have the conversation. Mm -hmm. um, we need to talk about poop. Yeah. <laughs> and every one of us does it, you right. know? It's, it's like, true. we can talk about it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it, people just talk about it like nothing over in mm -hmm. Japan and stuff and it's, it's it's funny that it's, it's so, I don't know, it, it's, it's, it's such an issue here. Yeah. But uh, I think if people really knew the, the, the issues behind it, pun intended, <laughs> um, I, think, uh, I think a lot of, I don't know, I think we just need to do, do better. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And that's what you're doing. That's what I I'm love trying it. to do, totally. yeah. Totally. <laughs> um, Vinny is asking, the greatest dancer was a lot of fun to watch on YouTube is uh, season two. Season there two scoop. is, I think that I mean it was in. Uh, oh, I don't know if I should. <laughs> I think I think there's going to be a season two. Nice. Um, yeah. So I think we're we're working on. Uh, yeah, it was it was such a huge success. Over yeah. There, was so it a lot of fun? It was a lot of fun. You know, mm -hmm. I went over there to really kind of I think inspire the next generation of mm -hmm. dancers. But I I ended up being so inspired. I'm sure. And it was a cool show because we really got to mentor a lot and mm -hmm. like I worked a lot of hours. But it was, it was, it felt good. Yeah, felt sure, really like good. really rewarding. Yeah, yeah, it really was. What else is next? Um, what else is next? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm touring all over, all over the world. Yeah. Actually, with playing with different symphony orchestras um, this summer, and uh, at the end of the summer, I'm starting up a new television show, which I cannot announce yet because oh, but that's you know, so exciting. They have to announce it first, right? So, but I'm very excited. <laughs> but it's in the works. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's totally in the works, and and it's it's going to be a hilarious character. I'm so excited, and yeah. it's uh, stepping into a world that I've never been in before. So okay, excited. so not not musical based or no 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 okay no very cool yeah. very cool. <laughs> um, Andrew says any any new songs soon? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely new songs soon. Yeah. Uh, I'm 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 I finished uh, my next album. Why are why what's up with the secrets? Why can't people why like can't talk about stuff? <laughs> it's so much. I don't know. <laughs> so much bureaucracy. Secrecy. But it's um, yeah. I, I just finished my my fourth studio album and uh, Congrats. thank you. Yeah. And uh, it's it's gonna be something I think your kid will enjoy. Oh really? Yeah. Oh there you go. There you go. <laughs> so um, so uh, yeah, I've been working hard on that and I'm so happy with it and uh, I can't wait for that to come out. Uh, soon. Mm -hmm. Has your son listened to it? Does he like? He loves it. Yeah. <laughs> he loves it. Every time I put it on, if he's like in a, like a bad mood or something, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll put especially this one song on, and he just. My son is a dancer. Really. He is a dancer through and through. Mm -hmm. He loves dance, and and I, it's fun. One of those things where I feel like there's so many people who are like, oh, I don't dance. You know, yeah. we all dance. Mm -hmm. It's so innate in us. Yep. So I feel like I, I see kids and they're just dancing. Um, so I, I just love watching him dance. And we get up every morning, have a dance party. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, his that's so his cute. move, he goes like this. Oh. Just this one handed kind of like. He's already got the pump. fist pump going. He's got it. I think when he was really small, like my wife Renee was holding him and mm. she was like dancing with him. So she did this. Yeah. So I think that's his move now. Oh just my God, like that's so from funny. Her. What's like your go to song that you guys love to dance together? Ooh. Um,. I mean, we're listening to a lot of Disney songs. Okay. Uh, he loves "Friend Like Me" Aww, from nice. Aladdin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know Aladdin's coming back. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. soon, so uh, that's that's playing a lot in our house that's right so now. So cute. And yeah. what's like the funniest thing he's done lately? Funniest thing he's done lately. Well, he got into Mama's um, makeup bag, uh -oh. <laughs> and yeah, he found out what lipstick is. Uh -oh. and he didn't find All out what, where face. to put it yeah. in the proper place, but uh, um, he, he found out what it was, and <laughs> he was having a good time with it. I'm sure all over the walls, <laughs> no, or just all thank over God, his face. All over him. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. I'm sure it's got to be just so much fun. What's the most surprising thing about fatherhood that you just had no idea what, what to expect? Um. 
I think there, there's been so many surprises, but I think um, realizing what the word patience mm -hmm. really means. Yeah. Um, and, and I think the really surprising thing is, and not a good or bad way, but just how much time I had before. Mm -hmm. You know, like I was complaining before, like, oh gosh, I don't have time to do this stuff. I had so much time to <laughs> right, do stuff. Yeah. Now I just, I'm like, I'm like, I really don't have yeah. time. And I think it's, it's we're figuring out how to, how to manage our lives and mm -hmm. how to schedule. Sure. I'm not really good at scheduling things, <laughs> so I'm surprised I made it here today. So. <laughs> right. well, oh, I no, appreciate that you are. <laughs> <laughs> is it hard balancing everything then? It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is. It is hard. I, you know, I, I took. I took um, the first year of his, my son's life uh, off of work yeah. pretty much because I wanted to be present and proactive mm -hmm. and you know they say the first three years of their lives are the most influential, the 84% the of their brain develops in that sure. time and so I really wanted to, yeah, as, as a sure papa, my, yeah. you know, I wanted to, to be, be a good example to other dads around there mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, I think dads are more present and proactive in, in their children's lives than ever before in sure. human history mm -hmm. right now. Um, so I think there's a really great dad movement that's that's happening. Totally, I love it. Yeah. Well, so many people are asking about a Glee reunion. What? You knew, you knew it was coming. <laughs> I mean, can, you, water. can you believe that it's been in May? It'll be 10 years since the premiere. Really? Yeah, May 19th. How do I look? You look yes. fantastic. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, another thing about surprising. Yeah. Oh, I'll get to that. But uh, mm -hmm. the surprising thing about about uh, children is, I have all these like scratches on my face oh, no. and like different parts, <laughs> and my wife has them like all over her chest. And just like he just gets. He in. gets he, you. Yeah. You're, like waking up with bruises. <laughs> I know. I'm just like I just I was just going to itch my eyes. Like oh, I got a scratch there. Um, but Glee, the Glee union. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it was. Such a great show. I think it would be hard to do a reunion because tragic. We have we have lost course, yeah. so many so many of our mm -hmm. cast members. But um, we have our little Glee reunions at least once a year. Yeah, do you? you? Know, with our cast, just like yeah. you know, it's a restaurant. And That's so fun. Meeting up and stuff. So yeah. Maybe we'll have to film it one of these times. You should. I think <laughs> fans would love that. Yeah. I love that. Can you believe though that it's been ten years? Does it seem like it went by in an instant, or does it feel like ten years? It does. It does feel like ten years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the whole the whole six years we, we shot the show went by in a flash. Mm -hmm. um, it was you know they, they say it's one of the, the hardest shows in television history to film because when we weren't on set we were either in the recording studio or in dance rehearsals. Um, it was it was extremely long hours and a tough show to film. Mm -hmm. But um, I I I love being on the other side of it because yeah. I think I have. A lot more of an appreciation for it, mm -hmm. um, being on this side and really seeing the magic and the important storylines that we got to create mm -hmm. and really affect, really change people's lives. Of course, yeah. Um, I think that was the best gift that I, I, I still get from people coming up to me and just saying, you know, you you helped my son come out of mm -hmm. the closet or or my my child or or. Then, then first person they'll say, you know, I I was bullied a lot in high school, mm -hmm. and your show really helped. So just real life situations that most shows don't get to affect Definitely. people in that way. Is there a moment from the show that you wish you could just relive over and over again? Um, there's many. Yeah. Uh, I could dance with in the rain with Gwyneth Paltrow all day long. <laughs> yeah. Um. Dancing with Harry Shum Jr. Mm -hmm. uh, our, that Make Him Laugh number we did was was one of the my favorite numbers and mm -hmm. so much fun and and yeah. But I I feel like we we are still really tight. That's like great. A lot of the cast and we talk to each other. We have a little. I was just going to say, do you have a group chain. text? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we and we're always supporting each other's yeah. uh, endeavors and mm -hmm. what we're doing now. What's the latest on the group text? The latest on the group <laughs> text. Um, wasn't necessarily the group text, but uh, Diana Agron is in New York right now, and and we've been going to dance classes together. Oh, that's so fun! With my wife oh, and, my God, I love and the that. three of us, and there's this great place called Forward Space. Okay. And it's down in Soho, and it's like just a really cool, great workout mm -hmm. dance class, and we're having so much fun. So we've gone a couple times. I love with that. Diana, yeah. Where do you think Mr. Shu would be today? 
promoting tushy. Uh, no. <laughs> um, I think, gosh, Mr. Shu would be, well, he's got a lot of kids now, and they'd mm -hmm. be kind of, I guess, getting ready for school. So yeah. I think he would be preparing them to uh, probably, probably putting their lunch boxes together and, and their sandwiches and mm -hmm. cutting them. And Emma probably would be cutting them perfectly <laughs> right. um, with her OCD <laughs> tendencies. Yep. Um, but yeah, I think he'd be, be happy, probably, probably starting his own string of performing arts high schools mm -hmm. around the country I or love something that. like that. Did yeah. you take anything from set? I took the one thing that I brought to set. Okay. I, there was, if you looked in the choir room scenes, and it, this, so it was a, it was a dachshund, you know, mm -hmm. like a wiener dog, yep. but it was a porcelain one, like a plant holder. And I got that from one of my most influential and inspiring teachers, mm -hmm. uh, this guy named Mr. Doran, uh, Phil Doran, I can call him Phil. <laughs> um, uh, Phil Doran, uh, I grew up in Orange County, California. Okay. I took it from his classroom, because he, he is obsessed with wiener dogs. He has like four at a time, like his whole mm -hmm. life he's had them. Um, and they all start with D's, the Digit, Dusty, Dexter, Dumbledore, like, like <laughs> he'll so always funny. name them the D's. Yeah. And so I took this thing from his classroom and put it in my classroom mm -hmm. for the duration yeah, that's great. of Glee. And then after it was done, I gave it back to him. I love that. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. That's, that's so great. Um, I know next month is also would have marked Corey's 36th birthday. Do you have, what's your fondest memory of Corey? Because I, I got the chance to sit down and talk to him and he was the nicest person. Great guy. Yeah. Great guy. Um, 36? Yeah. Um, my fondest memories of Corey were definitely, he and I shared a, a, a love for pranking people. Oh, nice. <laughs> and one of my favorite memories was when I pranked him uh, with the help of the, the, the transportation department on Glee. So he, he loved fast cars. Mm-hmm. And he loved, you know, he had this R8, this Audi R8, which is like their kind of sports car sure. thing. And he was so excited about it and he had it and stuff. So we had, we got this kind of sticker um, that looked like, like damage basically mm -hmm. on a car and we can just put it across his car. And we did it and we set it up so that, um, that Leah kind of, her car was parked next to him. Okay. So we, that she, you know, damaged his car, it, yeah. and he was so fired up about it. He was so, oh my God, he was, we got him so, so good. good. And I think that was one of my favorite memories. And also going to hockey games with him. Yeah. Because he was such a big hockey enthusiast. Mm -hmm. um, those Canadians. Yeah. But uh, we, we, we had a lot of great times together. Did he get you back? No comment. <laughs> no, I'm hard to get. I'm hard to get. Hard I'm, to get? I'm very perceptive. Yeah. <laughs> I love My that. My wife really struggles with Does that. Does she? Yeah. yeah. Has she ever gotten you good though? <laughs> um. Not not so much a prank, but uh -huh. she um, she recently, I guess, I guess, uh, several months now, chopped her hair. Okay. Um, because she al has always had long hair. Mm -hmm. uh, she's from Hawaii. Just very long, gorgeous hair. And she has always talked about, you know, chopping off, but I never think, thought it would happen. Yeah. And she um, just went out one day and came home oh, wow. with it completely off. And so that, I didn't see that coming. Sure, yeah. And it was just one of those moments where I was like, Whoa. Like she really got me. <laughs> she got you good. Um, but it was great. And, it just, mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah, I got a new wife. Right. <laughs> it was fun. <smart. laughs> I love that. Have you talked to Leah since her wedding? Um, you know, I have not. Yeah. I have not. Yeah. No. She looks beautiful. She yeah. did look beautiful. Yeah, she did look beautiful. <laughs> um, we, before we let you go, I, I wanted to know if you would ever make another appearance on Younger because you left a I quite can't. the mark. <laughs> I can't. You know what? I, I, I talked to Darren Starr, who created it, and and Sutton. Uh, we were all, oh, wow. <laughs> Showing a scene from uh -huh. the famous The famous sheep, sheep scene. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think my character is very <laughs> redeemable. I don't think so either. Uh, so, and actually, they were kind of upset after the episode because they liked, you know, where that storyline sure. could have gone. Yeah. Like, it could have been a really cool character, but they're like, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot with that <laughs> right. one. Uh, I, think so. I don't think we can be, <laughs> be back. But it was a lot of fun to film. I'm sure. What's yeah. your reaction when you read that? Were you like, oh no. Well, they, well Sutton <laughs> contacted me directly, and uh -huh. she was like, we loved you to do this this thing, but it's it's got this big 
kind of moment at the end. <laughs> um, and I read the script and I was like, I'm so down for this. This is like <laughs> gonna be like my in memoriam one day. That, that's the scene <laughs> right, they're gonna that's show. That's the scene they're gonna show. Well, Matthew, thank you so much for coming by. This was so much fun. And thank please remind see. everybody where they can go and get tickets for the yes, event. Don't, don't go to tushy.com because that is a porn site and you don't wanna do that. <laughs> So it's hello tushy slash funeral and mm -hmm. you get tickets for this amazing event June 20 uh, April 25th awesome. at Judson Theater. Awesome. And Thank it's going to be awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.